Hi everyone, Cosmic Mango here, your favourite mango from outer space. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to another thrilling episode of Unique Commanders, where we dive deep into the most exciting and unusual legends in Magic the Gathering. Join me as we explore unique cards with innovative deck ideas and showcase those one-of-a-kind commanders that really change the game. Whether you're a veteran player or just starting your journey in Magic the Gathering, I'm hoping you'll find inspiration and tons of creativity here. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an adventure in the multiverse of Cosmic Mango. Okay, without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Let's dive into these commanders. Number 1. Corvolt, Gleeful Glutton. A legendary creature, Dragon Noble, that costs 1 green, 1 red, 1 black, and 5 generic mana to cast. It has 4 power and 4 toughness and says the following. This spell costs 1 generic mana less to cast for each card type or more permanence you sacrifice this turn. Flying Trample Haste. Whenever Corvolt deals combat damage to a player, put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on Corvolt and draw X cards, where X is the number of permanent types among cards in your graveyard. Okay, so Corvolt has a lot of very good tech slapped onto him, making him a highly unique and versatile commander. He has a very rare ability which helps reduce his casting cost. This is an effect we don't see so often on commanders. With Corvolt, we can reduce his casting cost by one generic mana for each card type among permanents we sacrifice this turn. This means, ideally, you want to be running this commander in a deck that revolves around sacrifice theme and also lots of different types of permanents. Flying, Trample and Haste are all excellent keywords and can make this version of Corvolt a formidable attacker. Finally, Corvolt's last ability is rather bonkers, mega powerful in my opinion, offering superb card draw and lovely plus one plus one counters to help pump up Corvolt into a Voltron monster. An overall excellent commander, offering a lot of entertainment. I highly recommend this one. And you can buy this commander for around one dollar. Number two. I hope I pronounced this one correctly, it's got a funny name. Borbo Migos and Fiddlefip. <laughs> A legendary creature Cyclops Homunculus that costs 1 red, 1 blue and 1 green and 2 generic mana to cast. He has 6 power and 5 toughness and says the following. Whenever Borbomigus and <laughs> enters or attacks, draw a card. Then you may discard any number of land cards. Uh, when you discard one or more cards this way, Borbomigus and Fivothup deals twice that much damage to target creature. For 1 generic mana and 1 blue mana, Put Bodmomios and Philothup into his honors library third from the top. With a name like that, I mean, you gotta admit, this commander is super unique, yeah? The, the name alone, the name alone is unique. Okay, a commander that revolves around the land theme, but gives it unique twists. This commander offers rather good card draw, as its ability triggers when it enters and whenever it attacks. If you choose to discard a land card, we can deal some hefty amount of damage to our opponent's creatures as well, helping us deal with certain threats on the board. Overall, this is a highly unique commander with an interesting ability you rarely see. Plus, it offers three very good colours in Magic the Gathering that can make brewing rather exciting and fun for this commander. You can buy this commander for around one dollar, and I hope all of you can pronounce its name better than I can. <laughs> Number three, Finn the Fan Bearer, a legendary human warrior creature that costs one green and one generic mana to cast. He has one power and three toughness, and says the following. Death Touch. Whenever a creature you control with Death Touch deals combat damage to a player, that player gets two poison counters. A player with 10 or more poison counters loses the game. So I'm a big fan of this commander. I find it to be highly enjoyable and very powerful. Finn allows us to build a Death Touch tribal deck, which is incredibly effective. If that doesn't sound fun to you, I don't know what really does. Plus, this is a rather unique niche as, as tribal deck. You don't often see Death Touch tribal. We also get to rack up poison counters whenever we do deal combat damage with a creature, with death touch, which is rather menacing and can be difficult for our opponents to deal with. I'm one of those guys who loves playing effect. Yeah, I know, I'm an awful, terrible person. <laughs> so of course I'm going to be a little bit biased, but from what I've read online, plenty of people seem to enjoy the thrill that Finn offers to commander games. Overall, this is one highly strong commander offering unique twists to death touch and you can buy this commander for around 35 cents, making it very budget friendly. Hey guys, 
quick little break here to talk about Paramount Designs. They make amazing play mats for Magic the Gathering and any other card game that you're interested in. I have a special coupon, special offer code that you can collect in my YouTube description below. Really easy, scroll down to the description, click the link and you're gonna get like a 15% discount on your next order from Paramount Designs. Highly recommend doing it. These designs are super durable and they have amazing artwork. There's loads of stuff you can pick from. Great stuff. So yeah, check them out. Let's go back to the video. Number four, Valduk, Keeper of the Flame. A legendary creature, human shaman that costs one red and two generic mana to cast. He has three power and two toughness and says the following. At the beginning of combat on your turn, for each aura and equipment attached to Valduk, Keeper of the Flame, create a free one red elemental creature token with trample and haste. Exile those tokens at the beginning of the next end step. So Valduk gives a unique spin to the usual aura equipment Voltron route. This is because the more equipments and auras we stack up onto our commander Valduk allows us to generate that many more creatures with trample and haste. This is rather bonkers considering they also have free power, making them a formidable threat throughout the game. The really cool thing is, while this token generating is going on, Valduk is growing larger and larger in size, making him an exceptional Voltron commander that can rapidly build up 21 commander damage. Overall, this unique Voltron commander is a blast to play and a very affordable commander to pick up and purchase around, build around. You don't need to break the bank to build a powerful Vaduk deck. He is a budget all-star. And you can buy this commander for around 40 cents. Number five, the final commander on my list today. Tobias Doomed Conqueror. A legendary creature, human soldier that costs one blue, one white, and two generic mana to cast. He has three power and two toughness and says the following. Flash, when Tobias Doomed Conqueror dies, for each non-token creature you controlled that died this turn, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. Are you looking for a unique human commander? Then Tobias may be the one for you. However, it's a real shame it's not a human pirate, as in the card art it totally looks like a swashbuckler. Nevertheless, this commander still is rather awesome. As a commander, Tobias may, may lend himself to an aggressive strategies that focus on quickly swarming the board with creatures. This can put pressure on opponents and force them to react defensively. You want the creatures because Tobias can harness them later on to create loads of tokens. Tobias can function in various archetypes, including aggressive builds, combo strategies, or even control-oriented decks that rely on strong creatures and spells. This versatility makes him an appealing commander to a wide range of players in the format. Overall, Tobias may not be the toughest commander in the format, but within the right deck and with the right strategy, he can be a powerful and fun choice that can lead to exciting game experiences. One thing is for sure, he certainly is unique and you can buy this commander for around 35 cents. All right, we arrived to the end of the video. What do you think of the commanders I've listed? Do you have any recommendations on some unique commanders? If so, let me know in the comment section below. I love reading your comments and always try my best to answer them all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out the two other videos that should have popped up on the screen. Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep updated for more of my future commander content. Remember to check out Paramount Designs, their playmats are truly glorious. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, take care and goodbye.